Yeah, this is not surprising at all. And I'm actually really surprised that anyone is shocked by this. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 isn't selling well. And right now it's actually only sold globally. 270,000 units was sold in the first two weeks. And I've said this many times when it comes to the uh, Pixel 9 Pro Fold is it's that's sold out. Like that's sold out to October pretty much everywhere. You can't get that phone right now. And obviously it comes out in like five days, but you can't pick that phone up even if you wanted to. You could go pick up a Z Fold 6 right now at a store. You could go to the store right now and pick it up. And the reason why is because, again, there's nothing wrong with the Z Fold 6. But as I've said many times on this channel alone, it's not an upgrade. It's really not that much of an upgrade. Now, if you don't have a Z Fold device and you want one, then yeah, it's a plenty good upgrade. Like, yeah, go get one. You know, if you don't have a Z Fold 5, go get one. But if you have a Z Fold 5, there's no reason to upgrade to the Z Fold 6. Like, oh, uh, you get a better AI experience. Well, not really, because all AI features are coming to the Z Fold 5. You get more of a square type design, but after using the Motorola Razr 2024 edition, I'm actually somewhat starting to love the more or less um, like boxy design. I'm starting to like it better when it's like more of a rounded phone anyway. And I think a lot of people do. So it, it makes sense that Z Fold 6 really isn't much of an upgrade, isn't much of a crazy thing. It's not gonna sell well. And then again, the OnePlus Open 2 is coming out in January, which is a couple months away. You got the Sims, you got the Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold, which I know I didn't mention earlier in this video, but yeah, that's a really good looking phone. And that's actually upgraded. And that has 16 gigabytes of RAM and it has a Tensor G4 chip and it's really exciting and it looks good. And a lot of people are excited about that phone. A lot of people want that phone because guess what? It's actually an upgrade from the Pixel Fold 1. And when you do actual upgrades and you spend $1,800, you're probably going to want to get a phone that is, realistically speaking, actually an upgrade. And it's something new. And I think that's another thing. I know I make jokes all the time on this channel that the OnePlus Open 2 and the Pixel Fold, you know, 2 looks exactly the same. But in reality wise, they're not. They're different phones. And it's something new. And I think a lot of people are going to gear toward going with the Pixel Fold 2 or Pixel 9 Pro Fold because it's something new. And Samsung has kind of gotten away with this, you know, consistently releasing the same product, the same device, the same everything. And I have no problem with it as in the aspect of I love the Pixel. I love the uh, Galaxy Z Fold series. And I think over time it has gotten better. And it's to a point where I think it is almost perfect. But when you kind of, you refuse to change anything, you're going to eventually, people are going to stop being interested in it. And that's really what it comes down to. People are done with the whole same old, same old. And other companies now, when you have no other competition, you can do that and get away with it. But now you have other companies like Google kind of stepping in now. OnePlus kind of stepping in now. There's a there's an ending point to Samsung's ability to do that. And I think right now we're hitting that ending point. So we're hitting that point where it's just like you got to You got to change something. You got to add something. You got to be creative, Samsung. You can't just copy and paste because people are kind of done with it. They're done with the same device over and over again, but a little bit bells and whistles change. And with the Z Fold 6, they really trying to double down on this AI crap, but at the end of the day, and I say crap because it is a gimmick to a certain degree, this AI stuff, but they're trying to double down on it, but then you can't because you're releasing it on every other Z Fold device. So it's like you're, you're not even making this special where it's like, okay, well, if you want to get a Z Fold 6, you can get AI. It's like, well, I can get that on my Z Fold 5 and save $1,800. So it's just, it's not surprising. And that's what I will, will say at the end here. But tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys next one.